improvements I've, I've noticed have been fast. Uh, with just spending 30 minutes each week with each child, uh, you can just see the improvements week on week. It's incredible. It's good to be seen, to be involved with the local community and let it be known that we're willing to help. Mm -hmm. uh, plus two, these corporate social responsibility is a way that many companies now see of gaining a, a competitive advantage over other companies in the local area. And uh, there's quite a large company that I work in, so it's a good chance for us to interact you know, with people on different floors and different departments. The thing that I like about Head to Read is I get to choose a different varieties of books each week. Whenever I get stuck on a word, um, the, he usually helps me out. That and if I'm if I don't understand a word, he um, helps. He tells me what it means. The book that I like is George's Marvelous Medicine. He makes a medicine that can make like animals grow even bigger and like um, have hairy stuff and also like grow fat <laughs> and tall. When I get stuck on a word, I can get help, and I have a personal to myself. He's fun, and he helps me. Personally, just being in it now, it's, so, it's really enjoyable, it's a really worthwhile experience. I would definitely suggest any firms to do it. Um, you definitely get a good sense of satisfaction out of it, seeing the children grow every week. And just the difference in the children is just very good. I noticed at the start they just brush over words, they wouldn't really take the time to break it down and explain it. So every week we kind of have a run in any, any words that they get stuck on. We just write them down in a notebook and we revise them then the following week, just kind of keep it in their mind and just having someone there to encourage them to break, like, to slow down, take the time and break up the words, you will get there in the end, that's the main thing. KPMG, I mean, it's all these days about co corporate social responsibility and they have to be seen to doing something in the community and providing a good reputation in order to encourage more employees into the firm as well as their clients. You get to learn how to read more and um, only four out of my class and um, another class got picked to do this, so I'm very lucky. Um, she helps me to learn the words that I get stuck on. And whenever I didn't get time to read, I was rushing. But um, now that um, um, Sinead's coming in to help me, she's telling me to slow it down a wee bit. You have ten to yourself because we have a half an hour and it's, it's, you get some a volunteer to help you with your reading and you don't and you're just hang on you're doing it by yourself and the volunteer reads a page as well. We've been getting better at reading and she helps us to get better at reading. It's brilliant and I like reading books because you don't have to be forced to read and you can get, get the picture. It's just better now because I used to be reading and pausing after every word but now I'm just reading them. This has been one of the best initiatives to support the teaching and learning of reading in the school and I think um, it's a fun activity, it's the, the, the very fact that the facilitators are volunteers, they're not coerced into it, they've asked to do this and thank God their firms have allowed them, but they come in and they're enthusiastic, they're motivated, they, they love reading themselves and they really pass that on to the children. Um, I just find that it has developed the self-confidence of the children. They love the fact that this person is coming in just for them and that they get that person's undivided attention. But to me, you couldn't measure what the benefits are you know, to, to the children, just in the self-confidence, the love of reading, the motivation, um, everything, the all round just, you know, uh, improvement in the reading is unbelievable just by having this opportunity really, you know, twice a week um, to, to go out and sit down and choose a book that they like themselves, not one that's part of a reading scheme or that's a classroom based book, they can pick a book they like uh, and the volunteer is so patient, doesn't have to, you know, the, the volunteer in a sense doesn't have to devote himself, herself to a class full of children so they really can concentrate on it. When you look at reading in one sense, it's also their talking and listening and all those other skills are developed alongside it because they don't just sit and read a book during time to read sessions, they, they're given the opportunity to discuss the book and to talk about other related, you know, um, Topics automatically before anyone would, would come into school, the parents would have to be asked if they were, to give the permission, and we do make the opportunity available for the parents to come in and meet the volunteers. 
but I, and I do get feedback because no matter what goes on in school, we're always monitoring and evaluating and we ask for feedback at the end of the programme. I meet the parents regularly. We're very heavily involved with parents in St Joseph's, so I'll be speaking to them on a regular basis and they have all reported the difference in their children's, the improvement in their children's reading and, and the love of it. And they've actually had to go out and buy more books. The, 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 the children's enthusiasm has gone home and has been related to the parents. And as a result of that, you know, we find that there maybe are more books in the homes of those children who are actually involved in the programme.